Sometimes love can be mysterious. Can you believe that Celine Dion met her future husband, René Angelil, when she was just 12 years old? Sip your coffee and listen to this. On March 30, 1968, is when Celine Dion was born in a small town of Charlemagne in Quebec, Canada. Being the, the youngest of 14 siblings, her singing capabilities were already evident by the time she was just five years old. At this age, she had already started belting out songs at family gatherings and local events. Her older brother, Michelle Dion, recognized her younger sister exceptional gift and recorded her singing. In 1980, Michelle sent a recording of Celine Dion singing to René Angelil, who at that time was a renowned figure as a music producer and manager. Mind you, René at this time had worked with other musicians, and in the 1960s, he had already formed a pop rock group called Les Baronnais. Upon receiving the recording, René was super impressed by Celine's exceptional voice. He then decided to take Celine under his wing and become her manager. Imagine this. René went ahead to mortgage his house to finance Celine's first album, La Voix du Bon Dieu, which was later released in 1981. As time went by, Celine and René's professional relationship quickly grew into a personal one. René being born on January 16, 1942, and having an age difference of 26 years with Celine, didn't prevent them from developing a deep bond. Actually, René Angelil became not only Celine's mentor and manager, but also her confidant, and eventually, her romantic partner. René and Celine relationship remained a secret for some time, largely due to the age difference and the public's perception of Celine as a young and innocent singer. However, in 1991, during a vacation in Hawaii, René Angelil surprised Celine by proposing to her. They were later married in a lavish ceremony at Montreal's Notre Dame Basilica on December 17, 1994. Just like any marriage, Celine and René had to endure both personal and professional challenges. In 2001, René and Celine welcomed their first child, René Charles, and later in 2010, they welcomed their twin boys, Nelson and Eddie. René Angelil was strong pillar to Celine, and he truly played a significant role in shaping her career and their love life. Unfortunately, René Angelil passed away in January 2016 after a long battle with cancer, leaving behind Celine and his three sons. His demise wasn't an easy task for Celine and somehow destabilized her. It's quite disheartening that Celine has to raise the boys alone and on top of that battle with the stiff person syndrome. We can only hope she finds relief and strength to carry on. Leave your thoughts in the comments section and thank you for watching and subscribing.